You may know him best as Prince Charming, but he's now the king of NBC's newest number one show. Boom, we're talking about Josh, Josh Dallas. Dallas. Josh returns to TV tonight in the hit series Manifest. It's about a plane that disappears and lands five years later while That's life a major at home delay. has moved on. Josh <laughs> plays a father who's on that flight with his son. Take a look. A typical American family returning home from vacation. Excuse me, what exactly is the problem? The problem, ladies and gentlemen, is you've all been missing, presumed dead for five and a half years. I don't understand. You haven't aged a day. It's as if the plane never left the sky. Do I have to say out loud that that's impossible? I think we've taken impossible off the table. Oh, my wow. gosh. That I is know. riveting. It's complicated. I That's can't awesome. wait to binge watch this. <laughs> wow. Please do. So Start everybody now. is going crazy about this show. What has it been like to be part of it? Uh, you know, it's just, it's such big storytelling. It's great storytelling. And to be an actor on this show, is, it's a it's a gift. It's a joy. I mean, you, we've seen a lot of storylines in our lives, but this one seems unique to me. Have you, when you read the script initially, were you, did you say, yes, I've got to be part of this? Absolutely. You yeah. know, I'm attracted to, to stories that have a big idea that are based in something very real and this is a big idea but based in a very real family drama mm -hmm. about this family going through something extraordinary so I wanted to be part of it yeah. from page five. Wow. They say the reviews are This Is Us meets Lost which happened to be Come two on. of like yeah. everybody's favorite yeah. show. Yeah. Do you know what's going to happen? Like do you know the ending? Mm -hmm. I don't know the ending. I've told Jeff Rake our creator that I didn't want to know so I wanted to discover it along with the character but now I'm thinking I really want to know. <laughs> yeah. I really want to know. Now. By the way you are adorable and so is your lovely wife. Thank you. And all you people have to do is follow you on Instagram. Oh. And we get a window into how to be the best and most awesome husband in the world. Just a couple of things yes. you wrote about him. She makes me dumb. <laughs> Intelligence is Ginny. Elegance is Ginny. Beauty is Ginny. Funny is Ginny. My love is Ginny. I'd be an outlaw for her love. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who are you? That is awesome. You know that why, like, wives everywhere are like, excuse me, what? would you like, read his, write this on your, my Insta? She's the greatest human I know, so that <gasps> stuff is easy. That's easy to write. Did you know stuff. right away when you guys met? I knew right away. I knew right away. It was that thing. It was that thing. I turned around and I saw her and I knew I was in trouble. Did you guys, were you on, did you meet on your show we together? We did. We met on Once Upon a Time. So y'all yeah. were working and you just thought, hmm. Yeah, this is it. This so what's it. the key to a lasting relationship? Because, uh, yeah, what do you think it is? Uh, understanding, willing to be flexible, um, and just love. You got to love and be under and be willing to grow with that person or let that person grow too and give them space. Oh. Thank you. Oh. We just want to sit here. We were going to play this game, but we wanted to ask you about that. We can ask. We can go out with this question. Okay. If you could have dinner with one person, dead or alive, who would it be? Well, alive it would be my wife because she's a great dinner partner, and dead would be Paul Newman. <laughs> that yeah. would be like fun. a boat. Yeah, yeah. All right, Manifest <laughs> returns tonight at 10, 9 Central, right here on NBC.